I just want to avoid spinning a gauge with my fingers all day. This is a sentiment we hear a lot from professional manufacturing engineers all over the world. In fact, just the other day, I was talking to a manufacturer in Wisconsin, and they manufacture a lot of threaded parts. Their customer requires them to go and no-go verify every single thread. They dealt with this requirement the way that many manufacturers do. An operator stands by and gauges every thread by hand. Unfortunately, this process is not only burdensome, but also provides plenty of opportunity for operator error and repetitive motion injury. At New Vista, our mission is to work with manufacturers like you to provide the knowledge and tools that you need to overcome thread quality obstacles and stop spinning gauges with your fingers. This series, as part of that mission, is an introduction to thread gauging. When it comes to production inspection of threads, there are two types of inspection to consider, attribute gauging and direct measurement. Attribute gauging ensures that a feature dimensionally falls within accepted pass-fail range by means of a gauge. Direct measuring actually measures the feature to determine where it is within the acceptable range. For most threaded parts manufacturing, attribute gauging is the more practical verification method due to its speed, simplicity, and low cost especially in the case of internal threads. Contact versus non-contact gauging. Gauging threads is a contact inspection procedure. While non-contact methods of inspecting threads exist, the traditional GO inspection method with a physical gauge is preferable to guarantee assemblability. That is, to make sure that the thread will assemble properly with the mating part. Thread gauges for straight threads, the common metric and unified standard, are usually supplied as a go and no-go gauge set with a handle. Pipe threads and other specialty threads entail unique gauging procedures that we will cover in the next feature. The most common types of thread checks for straight threads are go verification for pitch diameter and verification of the minimum thread length. For the vast majority of manufacturers, employing these two verifications at 100% is sufficient. When no-go gauging is employed, it is typically only sampled, not checked 100% of the time. Go checks. Go gauging, by its nature, is a composite check. It verifies for several attributes all at once, and through that composite verification, it guarantees assemblability. So, a go gauge for an internal thread would guarantee that the thread's pitch diameter, the minor diameter, and the major diameter are all sufficiently large. If the gauge is employed advantageously, it will also guarantee that the thread is of sufficient length or depth. No-go checks. No-go gauging, except in rare instances, can only ever check for one attribute at a time. Manufacturers may be required to no-go verify a thread's pitch diameter or minor diameter. In either case, the no-go gauge ensures that the pitch or minor diameter is not oversized, which would cause the mating part to be loose. The general rule of thumb is that the no-go pitch diameter gauge should not go more than two to three turns into the thread. Be sure to review your thread's particular specifications. In situations where both go and no-go verification is required, New Vista has developed combination gauges that will perform both checks in one pass on through threads, saving time and cost. The go and the no-go checks are a critical aspect of any manufacturing process that involves threads, but you don't have to do them with your fingers. If you want to learn how you can expedite your thread verification process, or you have additional questions about thread gauging, contact one of New Vista's application engineers today. Applications assistance is available in the US and in other countries as well. Thank you.